Hi everyone, Fritz here, and in this video we're going to go over the different ways your money grows in life insurance. Now this is meant for permanent life insurance policies, but just remember that life insurance is meant to be used as life insurance. It is never designed to outcompete traditional investments like stocks. However, you will see some commonalities when we look at the ways your money will grow, but just like a motorcycle and a car are not the same thing, they can both get you to the same destination. You wanna look at the growth of money within life insurance and traditional investments the same way. They both can grow you money. The way that they do it is different because their main purpose is different. And also, if you want to learn about some different types of life insurance, I have a link listed above that you can check out. Now we're going to get right into it. Typically, there are three ways that your money grows in life insurance. Number one that we have up is called guarantees. With our money on the y-axis and our time on the x-axis, Guarantees, you're gonna see your money grow very, very steadily, and let's just say this is considered 5%. So no drastic shifts, no drops, no matter how the market performs, you will get your guarantee of 5% every single year. Number two, looking at the same variables, we're actually going to look at something called variable life insurance. And with variable life insurance, you're actually reflecting the same type of growth that you see in the market. Now, for example, you can pick any type of funds. Let's just say is you want to mimic the S&P 500. If the S&P 500 has any falls, any peaks, that's exactly what's going to happen. It'll look like a traditional stock investment and you're along for the full ride of that. That's how that will work. We actually kind of got a blend of the two and we call that an index. And what the index does is it's called a mimicking of the market. And again, you can pick something like the S&P 500 to mimic. However, you are given something called a floor as well as a cap, meaning that you cannot lose a certain percentage of money, but also you cannot gain past a certain point of money as well. And with an index, your money goes in one year, wait for the next year before it'll see the next growth. However, it will perform within the guidelines of your index. Now you're saying, why does this look always like it's gonna be positive compared to variable? This is because there are specific guidelines it has to go through in order to get you this kind of growth. The thing that will be variable is the up portion of the stairs. That can be a small amount of growth, that can be a big amount of growth. For example, if we zoom in here, we may actually see our confines for the index are gonna be one to 12%. Meaning that if the market does anything between one and 12%, that's exactly what you get. If it does 10, you'll get a 10% growth. If it does eight, you'll get an 8% growth. However, if the market does negative five, the lowest you can ever go is 1%. If the market does 20%, the most you can ever get is 12%. That's what it means to be indexed. You are within a specific guidelines for your growth. You will never get anything less than 1% and you will never get anything more than 12%. This is typically the way that your money grows in life insurance. It can be either a guarantee, it can be a variable, it could be an index. Which one is best? It really depends on you. If you want a specific amount guaranteed to you every single year because you don't have a lot of confidence in the market, you want more than 1%, Go with the guarantee because you know you're always going to get 5%. If you're feeling a little bit more risky, you're young, you want to take the risk, you want to have growth that you see in the market, you're going to probably pick variable. But if you want something like a blend of both, where you want something very conservative, but also gives you the upside of growth as well, because maybe you're not so happy with the 5%, but also you don't want to take the pitfalls of a market crashing, then the index will probably be more suitable for you. Not one is really better than the other because you will see some growth in all of them. However, it really depends on your personality and what you're looking for. And I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave it for me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this or check out my fitness videos as well. And I'll see you in the next video.